Select the polygonal shape creation tool and click to set the first point. Note that while moving, the line length is shown in the text box on the top. To force the line to a specific length, you can start typing. Type 11 and hit enter. The color changes to magenta and the line length is fixed at 11. Move to a snapping line and click to set the second point. For the third point, type 9 and hit enter. If you want to cancel the fixed length, press escape and the line length is flexible again. Type 9 and hit enter to fix it again. Move to the 90 degree snapping line and click. For the next few points we do not use this text entry. Just snap the 90 degree lines and approximate this shape. For the last point, find the intersection of two snapping lines and click. Finish the shape with a click on the first point. You can now perform some fine tuning on the lines. For this, hover over a line. Note the orange handle that appears. Click and hold the mouse over the handle. When you move the mouse, the edge is transformed. Note that there are two arrows for different move directions. The green arrow moves up and down and the blue along the polygon. Drag the mouse over the arrows to change directions. When you are satisfied with the result, release the mouse. Do the same for another line. When the two-dimensional shape is to your liking, you can finally create a 3D shape. For this, hover the mouse over the polygon. Now drag the orange handle. Release to finish the 3D shape. Let's now create a slanted roof. Move over this line until a cross appears. This is the midpoint snap. Click and move the mouse until you see the symbol for a parallel snap. Move to the other side until you snap to the edge and click. You can now use the edge handle to drag a roof. Again, you have two directions. Now use the green one. Release the mouse to finish the roof. Drag the back edge to make the roof a little bit flatter. You can keep dragging the edges around until you are satisfied with the result. Let's now modify the 3D shape a little bit. Move the mouse over a polygon and drag the handle. Note the different behavior of the arrows. The green drags parallel to the ground plane and creates a new top polygon. The blue arrow, however, drags along existing edges, marked in blue, without creating a new polygon. Both types can be very useful depending on the shape you want to create. Now let's create some balconies. Select the rectangle tool. Click when snapped to this line. Move and snap to the opposite line and click again. Now hover over the new polygon and drag the handle. You can drag it in and out. Orange lines appear when you snap to a point. Move it out a bit and release the mouse. Select the polygonal tool again. Snap to the line, click, move until you see the parallel sign, snap to the other edge and click again. Now drag out the new polygon. Now create two lines with clicking and snapping. Then drag down the balcony floor. The balcony is now finished. Let's draw another balcony. Rotate the camera to the back. Select the rectangle tool, click to start on the wall, click again to finish. Drag the balcony out. Create a rectangle on the top and fine tune a bit. Now drag the floor down. Ok. The basic shape is ready. Let's now create a nicer roof. Drag a roof polygon and observe the different directions a bit. We want the green up direction. We also want to separate the roof from the building. To achieve this, hit the control key. Note that this inserts edges along the initial positions. 
Let's make it thick for now, just for easier editing. We'll make it thinner again later. Do the same for the other polygon. When driving, snap to the first one. Okay, now we have a thick roof. Let's drag out the sides to make it overhang. Start on the right to drag it out. Drag the second face until it snaps. Also the third. The fourth not so far. The last snapping again. Rotate the camera to get a nice view on the sides. Drag the face down. Note the difference between green and blue. Use the blue for now. Then repeat it on the other side. Finally, go to the back and drag out both faces. When you rotate to the front again, note that a few extra unnecessary lines are now on the roof. To clean this, use the selection tool to select the whole building. Now click the clean up shape tool. Select default from the presets and click finish. Most of the lines are now gone. You may have to use this tool twice to remove all lines. Ok, let's make it thinner now. If you want multiple to move multiple lines at once, use the standard selection and the transform tools. Select the first polygon by double clicking. Now hold Ctrl and click on the second polygon. Click on the move tool and drag along the green arrow. Let's now inspect the whole building. Note you can still drag all planes using the polygonal tool. It's best to use the blue arrows here, so that it stays along the roof. Let's do a few further adjustments. Make the balcony thinner. Drag the floor to make the house larger. Now select and move it so it's on the ground plane, plane again. When satisfied, let's start decorating the building. Select the rectangle tool and create two, two windows. Drag them inwards. Now create two doors. Rotate and zoom the camera to get a clear view. Rotate the building and create more windows. Note you can still drag the window frames. Finally, rotate and drag out the roof along the green arrow. This creates an open garage. To create columns, first rotate down. Draw two rectangles and drag them out to the ground. Okay, we have a very nice house. 
Let's add some textures. First, select the whole house. Click the texture tool. Click browse. Select wall white and open. You can find it in the asset folder of the tutorial. To get the uniform look, select mode dimensions. The numbers indicate how large the texture is in meters. Enter 10 for both values and click Assign. Now for the roof. Select all roof polygons with the selection tool. First a double click and then clicks with Control. Pick roof in the texture tool and click Assign. Let's do the doors and windows. Select do windows. In the texture tool pick window. Set the mode to stretch to polygon and assign. Then select do doors and pick the door texture. Assign again. Rotate to the back. Select the windows. Pick window texture and assign. It is now very stretched. Therefore, enter 4 at horizontal repetitions and assign again. Let's add a chimney to the house. Draw a rectangle on the roof. Drag it up along the green arrow. Now drag the back edge down along the green arrow until it snaps to the front edge. Select all faces and assign textures with the texturing tool. Use the concrete tex texture this time. Let's add a dormer. Draw a rectangle, drag it up. Drag the back edge down until it snaps. Texture the sides. Draw a window on the front as already learned. This completes our house.